Hi everybody, I'm Frank and welcome to my shop. And today, let's scrim some connectors because I've noticed that some of you are not at ease soldering wires. So let me show you another way. <laughs> Okay, so let's use the Monoprice Select Mini printer for that demonstration. Turn off the printer, unplug the printer, let's cut this, oh no, let's leave it. And then remove this beautiful little, little gnome. Want to see? Let's pick it up and move it here. Okay, first, the tools needed. We need some connectors. I've cho chosen those GST SYP two pin male female connectors. The corresponding crimping tool needed for those connectors. Something to skin insulation of the wires. A screwdriver to undo the printer. Okay, so I'm going to redo the, the fan connector for the case. And I'm going to redo it with a crimp terminal instead of soldering those. So I have enough, I have enough wire. So let's just remove, let me remove the e-shrink. So this is it. So let's cut the wires again and probably remove a bit of this in tubing. And cut back the yellow wire again. There. Okay. So let's move this away. Okay, so we are using those GST connectors with the crimping tools. So you have two parts. You have a female and a male. And you have to do the, the pins. So my thinking behind this is I'm going to use a female connector on this side so that I don't short anything because the female connector if it's loose inside the case won't short anything since the uh, the power is coming from the board and use the male connector for the other side so first we skin the wires about two or three millimeters now let's take a female connector you have the gauges of the wires, 24 to 28, the first notch, and then 22, 20, the second one, and the last one is 18, 20. Since this wire is pretty small, I think we'll use the first notch. And if you see inside, there is a, yeah, we see it here. You see there is a, a notch. You have a, a smaller part here. And a bigger or larger one so you have the connectors there's the female part here and there is the crimp part here with the wings or yeah so you put the wings so you push it in like that so the first wings the big wings are here and the smaller one are on the other side and this is what it looks like. So you are not now ready to insert the wire. So you push your wire in and then you crimp it all the way.
So I use a screwdriver to lift it up and push it out. So the way that I am able to know the length of wire that has to come out or how much insulation I need to remove, the first wings hook up on the insulation and the second wings will hook up on the wire. So the wire can be too long can't be too long or it will interfere with the the female part on this side. The wire has to be long enough to have the insulation in the first wing and the wire on the second wing and not interfere with the connector further that way. I broke this one, so I'm gonna redo it. So now we have two strong connectors. So you just have to insert the connector. The small tab on the top of the connector will be in this slot. So it's going up. So push the connector red in one. There it is. Now it's all in. You see the little tab here. Same thing with the black. Is there really good? For me, it's easier to just solder the wires. <laughs> Making connectors is can be hard. So I'm gonna take a male connector, two males connector, and do the same thing. Trying to do this in front of the camera is a hard thing to do. So what I'm gonna do, because it's too hard to do at the same time of filming, I'm just gonna crimp a bit, push it in, and crimp it. There. So I went too far with this one. This is not easy. Okay, so... Be sure you don't push the cable too far. Then grab. So position the connector like that. Same thing. Do not push it too far. Then crimp it good. Take it out, push with something there. No, nope. this one is not good. Cut it out. Skin. So as you see, it's not easy. Okay, so two good connectors, not the same length, but Let's just peel back a bit of this insulation or tubing. There it is. But just to be sure, I'm going to put the connector here. So I know that I have to put the red wire here. And there is a notch on top which matches with the small tab the male connector so that goes there and this one goes there I'm gonna remove this part push it in click push it in click now it's it's a good connection and then you have your Solderless repair. And red wire goes to the red wire and black goes to black. Connect it back on the main board.
Let's try if it worked. Well, maybe I should give you the other side. And so for the fan to run, you have to do something on the printer like, like home. Yep. So it worked. So that's it for me, guys. And as you have witnessed, those connectors are not easy to do. Uh, so I suggest that you take a, a piece of wire and some connectors and practice before going to do it on the actual printer because you know you need the skill you need to practice and know how the connectors are are meant to be crimped and how to do it and redo it uh, at least you know it took me three times to do it right so maybe do it two or three times or do a, a pair of connectors on the side maybe you can reuse the wires afterward but practice before uh, to do it right do it on the printer and you should be fine uh, myself i prefer to solder the wires because uh, i know how and it's faster and easier if i don't need a connector but it's okay to do a connector um, and the type of connector that I've used, the GST connectors, I would use them for the fans, the uh, hot end fans, the fans, the fan behind, the thermistor is okay, but I would not recommend to use it for the um, heater because there is too much current passing through the heater, the connector would overheat. So for that kind of work, you would need something like a Molex connector, which is the same connectors or the same types of connectors inside a PC computer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, comments below are really welcome. Push that little bell if you want to be notified of future video from me. And see you in the next video. Ciao, bye.